So the first of these commands we'll talk about is called locate. The locate command is a quick and easy way to search for file names, for path or file names across your entire machine. We provide some substring, and then it's going to go look and try and find all matching file names or path names. So um, this is one that you may need to install. It comes pre-installed on my Mac. You can just type locate, right? It's going to ask me for, uh, well, you'll see. We'll come back to this in a moment. Um, but I can you know, do man locate, for example. Over here in Ubuntu, if I try typing anything with locate, I get an error. And it tells me you can install it. You don't have it, but you can install it with this line. And I'm going to run that. And you should too if you want to use locate. So sudo apt install m locate. It's not locate, it's m locate. But uh, once I type my password in here, and again, this is my password for this user. It's not some admin or some root user. It is just the currently logged in user. So I type that in, and now it's installing it. Uh, and it says here, initializing m locate database. So this is the crux of the locate command. The locate command uses a pre-generated database. So it's a file that it constructs and it keeps relatively up to date that contains entries for every file that exists on your machine. But it is not perfect. It takes time to update. It does not happen you know, immediately. It's not a, a live up to date file. So locate is very fast though, because it uses that built-in database file. It doesn't search every folder and every file on your machine manually. Instead, it looks in this one database file that's already indexed and it's set up to be a very quick process. So now that that has hopefully finished, we can type locate. Now it's gonna to complain to me, you didn't provide a pattern to search for. Now if I type man locate now, it tells me that I should provide a pattern. That's required. The only thing that's required, one or more patterns. And it tells me that it reads one or more databases prepared by a command called update db and writes file names, blah, 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 blah. Okay, so if I want to find somewhere on my machine, I know that there's a file, um, I think there's a file, a couple files that have Monday in them or M-O-N. If I want to find them, I'm not sure where they are, locate mon, M-O-N. Wow, okay. You can see we just got <laughs> a lot of stuff um, and you can see they all have M-O-N in there. Let's just try and find some more examples. Uh, that it's common. Common is a very common uh, element in file names. So almost all of these are just coming from common. But here's one that's mon. All right, well, that was a bad example. Why don't I try another example? I think I use a capital N or M. So it is case sensitive. I'll rerun this with capital M-O-N. Okay, so we have fewer, but we still have <laughs> quite a few matches. So kind of crazy. <laughs> let's get out of here uh, and let's try another search term or maybe even a path. So I could do locate. I think I had a planner directory somewhere and then inside of that, Monday, yes. There we are. So <laughs> here is the full path, two matching paths on my desktop. In the TR directory in Planner, there is a Monday AM and a Monday PM text file. Now this command does not run relative to my current location. It's just going to look at that database file. It doesn't care if I'm on the desktop, if I'm in Planner, if I'm in my home directory. Um, so this means you know, I could drill down really deep into some nested structure, into that TR folder, into the styles directory, but I could still locate something way in my, I don't know, my user bin directory. So if I did locate and then uh, I know somewhere there is bin slash, uh, let's do less, L-E-S-S. -S. You can see that we get a bunch of matches that contain bin slash less, bin slash less, bin slash less file, less key. So it didn't matter where I was. When I ran that, I was nested quite deep in the styles directory on the desktop. But most of these matches are all, you know, somewhere above my home directory. They're the snap folder, the USR user folder. Anyway, um, that's a basic concept of the locate command. You can see it's pretty quick and very quick, uh, especially in comparison to what we'll see in the next few videos. And we can also provide patterns with our path name expansion that we've seen. So if I want to match something that had less and then exactly uh, three characters afterwards, I could do this, right? 
locate slash bin slash less one, two, three, exactly three characters. And we get less key. It's all just less key, isn't it? <laughs> I could have just typed less key myself. But the point is we can use those wildcard options we've seen. Now we also have some options that there's more than this, but these are some of the most useful options. We've got dash I to ignore casing. So if I just recall one of these lines, bin slash less, well, all of these are lower cased. Uh, if I do, you know, planner and I wrote it this way for whatever reason, nothing is matched. But if I provide dash I, it doesn't care about case anymore. And so all of these that have planner uh, in lowercase or except for the P, uh, they all are matched as well. Then we have the dash L or dash dash limit option, which just says, you know, limit to a particular number. So I can do dash L 10 and that gives me only the first 10 matches or limit one, just give me one match. Uh, and then there's this dash E option. So this dash E option uh, is a little harder to explain. Remember that the way that locate works is that it uses a database file that it periodically updates. So if I delete a file, like right now, I delete, um, sure, this entire file right there, or actually, you know what, let's go and, and let's delete everything that has, um, sure, the two Monday files here, planner slash Monday AM, planner slash Monday PM. So what I could do is just take this entire path right there and do an RM and then just paste that RM slash home slash cult desktop TR slash planner slash Monday and then just star afterwards. Now I don't recommend ever running an RM command like this until you know exactly what it matches. So we could do an echo to see exactly what that matches. It's these two files. So I'm gonna delete those two files. I'll just hop to the beginning and replace that with an RM. So those files are gone now from my machine. They don't exist. However, if I run this uh, locate line again, right there, let's limit it to 10. It still shows them as uh, matches. It shows, you know, they're in the database and that's all that locate cares about right now. It hasn't updated yet. It hasn't gone through and updated the database to say that these no longer exist, remove them from the database. So it's still showing us matches with deleted files. But if I provide the dash E option that I believe it stands for exists, we will only get output for files that actually exist. So they might be in the database, but locate will check to see if they're real. Uh, and now we don't get those Monday files showing up because they don't exist. But if I get rid of that dash E, they still are there in that database. Now they'll go away. There's also an update command or rather update DB command that we can run to update a database for the M locate command. If I wanted to run that, I actually need to run it uh, with sudo. If I just try doing update DB, it tells me it can't do it. But if I run sudo update DB, no, misspelled that. <laughs> If it's been a long time since you typed sudo, you'll have to type your password. We'll talk about sudo when we cover permissions. But now that updated that database. And so if I try running uh, this one here, locate slash planner without the E option, it no longer contains those Monday files. Those are gone. So we totally updated that database manually. Anyway, it will update itself over time, but to do it manually, you can use that command. Otherwise, um, the locate command searches through the database that it has constructed. It tries to keep it relatively up to date, and you can use the dash E option if you're getting results that you know are not actually existing files.